We're here with Michelle Jokic, wonderful cellist and the founder of Music West. Um, I know because I am involved in this. That's why I'm here in Palo Alto today. Um, music West is a project that, by using the medium of chamber music, address the, the topic of conflict resolution. And, and we bring this to initiate discussion with school children from middle school, the area, high middle school and high school students. Yeah. And then there has been a, a wealth of enthusiasm among the schools. So Michelle, tell us a little bit about um, your perspective of why you wanted to start this and how how is this more than um, just a regular concert series? So it's a great concert series if I just say so myself just because it's it, incredible, well, I'm here. incredible just generous musicians that come. <laughs> I'm so proud to share everybody's gifts with the community and we do some pretty adventurous programming. This week we're doing Andy Kehoe's Ligneus, like wow, what was I thinking? Um, but anyway, it's, it's really fun to share that with the community with such great musicians. But um, aside from the music, that's more like a celebration of the week that we spend together. Um, the main focus of, of Music E-West was really to use the work that we do as chamber musicians to really address conflict resolution with young people using ourselves as examples of how things can go well or go poorly. So I'm very curious, why chamber music? Well, chamber music is so intimate. There's such a small number of us, and one gesture from one of us, one look, can make the entire rehearsal feel so awkward, right? You mean, I mean like the atmosphere and how people handle each other? Exactly, exactly. It's yeah. well. Why do I know? <laughs> <laughs> we all know what that feels yes. like. It, I don't think it's hard to explain. Which is actually what makes it so easy for us to be convincing when we do our skits in the schools. Yes. Because it really does exist in all of our lives as professional musicians, um, not unique to the music world, but we really feel it very strongly because I think as a musician, when your heart is in everything you do, you're far more sensitive to any reaction to exactly. that. So, um, and I think music opens the eyes of the students that are watching us. It, it They listen differently yeah. and they observe differently. And of course, after having witnessed our collaborative process sits negative, um, they give us tremendous insight as to how we can help ourselves. Yes. And it starts the conversation. So how has this, if chamber music is so much like this, how have some of the musicians have responded to participating in this? That's a really good question. I think it's a very personal decision how my colleagues, all of our colleagues want to engage in this. Because it can be a little bit too close to home, um, too poignant to something they may have just experienced. And so it's too new to bring that to the table to discuss. So it's very therapeutic. But in fact, it ends up being very therapeutic. And I find sometimes it takes some of our musicians a few days to come around to where, oh, it's okay for me to say that I felt weak. You know, it's okay to admit that actually that made me really insecure when they presented that information to me that way. And, and that is, I think, so important that we can, as colleagues, trust each other enough to t admit this has happened to us. It's not a sign of weakness to say you felt that way, because we've all felt that way. So do you also find the musicians that improve on the way they work with each other throughout the week? You know, I don't want to say anybody's <laughs> improved or, or, you know, that everybody's on their best behavior here. I think more than anything, everyone leaves here with an awareness so that the next rehearsal they sit in, I often hear, oh my gosh, I just sat down in my first rehearsal and, and it started right away. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there it was. I couldn't believe it, you know. Yeah. So it actually highlights the things to look out for and how to be careful with yourself so yeah. that you don't hurt another person inadvertently. And also, if somebody says something that might have hurt, to realize it's not about you. Right. Don't worry about it. So basically, you build a really good understanding. You are open-minded to understanding and you feel you relate to each other more by knowing yourself. Exactly. Yes. So how has this um, challenge of working with people well in chamber music affect your real life, uh, like real life as a chamber is not real, but, but your, your, your personal relationships like with your spouse and children uh, and your friends? How has working in chamber music or learning from this experience affect that? Well, you mean Music Key West as a virgin, as a, uh, you know. both. So Music Key West, in the process of coming up with how to use our work as an example of 
communication caused me to also look very deeply in my own ways of, of interacting with, as you say, my husband, my children, my colleagues, and um, say, for instance, my husband. So many times I hear him say, but it's the way you said it. It's just the word, the tone of your voice. And I thought, but, but that's just the way I am. I always speak this way, right? No, but it's the, and then I caught myself in the rehearsals. Oh, it is the tone of my voice, you know? Or it is my body language. Well, it sounds like he also is a chamber musician by marriage. <laughs> right, right. When an athlete, not at all a musician. But, and then my children, for instance, they'll say, Mom, you always talk like you know everything, like you're a know-it-all. You don't know everything. And, and so, but sometimes I realize in rehearsals, just to you know, show I'm confident, Oh, that's absolutely how it has to go. This is definitely the right way, you know. And yeah. everyone's well, you know, I have a lot to learn. We all have a lot to learn. And another person's opinion is actually really helpful sometimes just to see it on the other side of the page. Absolutely. Instead of always being so confident that you miss out on everything around you, you can't learn. That's true. Sometimes some people always offer things that you didn't expect would help you so much. Yeah, and if you're willing to listen, it's like, oh, wow. Willing to listen, that's, that's the key. Yeah. So... What I am personally very excited about, because I'm also involved again, um, what is happening this summer? Oh, this is, makes me so excited. We are going to be a very small group of, of us this summer, including yourself, along with Ayane Kozasa, Paul Wianko, Si Wu Kim. Um, we're going to spend a week at the Stevenson School in Pebble Beach, California, uh, exploring many elements of making us healthier musicians. And starting with the Sunday opens with Dana Fontenot of the Wholehearted Musician. She'll be, she has a wonderful program helping us to understand more deeply language we use, the body language, very much what we do with Music US, but the whole presentation I think will set the tone for what we want to understand about ourselves. And this week is more geared towards musicians, not taking it to the schools to work with adolescents. This is really on how to better care for ourselves and understand that should be part of our upbringing, musically. So are these open to the public? Everything will be open to the public. Every day we're going to have a different workshop because I think that even though we're focusing on ourselves as musicians, I don't think there's any segment of society that won't benefit from the conversations that we'll be having. Yeah. And again, they're going to hear great music in the process of coming to these workshops. So there are some concerts at the end, too. Yes, and I can't wait to, to have, well, the Schubert Two Cello is one of my favorites of, of all time, of course, and to do that with you is such a pleasure, and, and Paul, and, yeah, and then uh, we'll be doing one of Paul's uh, compositions, um, American Haiku, that's for viola and cello that he'll be playing with Ayane, and then the Aransky Two Cello Quartet as well. That's one. It's so a great program. So, so all of this information will be on the website. What is all on the website, which is well, you know, I had to go and pick a complicated name, but it's m u s i k i w e s t dot org. Music Key West. So check it out, uh, and it will be regularly updated on yes, all the future events. It. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I am so excited to to be able to to hear hear you, the person that founded this project, oh. to to talk about your project. So so passionately but you know you've contributed every person that's been here has contributed and I love that this is the first team we ever had and when we come to the reunion everybody's got the confidence to say you know I think we should do this or we should do that and that's what makes it the best because I don't know anything about what this should be unless everybody's contributing right. to the project and giving great suggestions and, and it just keeps developing in that way and what the last group did we can all bring to the table as well and share those ideas and so it's ever-changing there's not like one script that we're going to use you yeah, know it's wonderful yeah everybody's made it so big and important and next year's just as wonderful oh, I'm so excited that's great well thank you so much Michelle oh, and and I hope you enjoy the information yeah oh. so much fun thank you <laughs>